Made on Zencaster. I'm a, I'm as prepared as I'm gonna be. I got everything plugged in. That's that's what I got. I'm prepared. <laughs> that's smart. Yeah. Prepared. I locked the what door. What do you got? So we're good. It's plugged in. Like, we're good. In <laughs> Let's go. Well, yeah. Timber's asleep here. So. Oh man. So be as loud as possible. <laughs> Pretty much. No, they both of them. Both my wife and daughter sleep like hey, rocks. Guys. So. No, no, get get uh get all quiet because I was asleep. Hey guys, so we're gonna do a recording today. Why was asleep? <laughs> Yeah, and we're gonna make this real quiet. You guys like Power Rangers? <laughs> oh, Power Rangers! That was that was great. That was great. Hey guys! All right, guys I gotta get in like on this the... too. Mom, you guys yeah, like? Buddy. You guys like the Power Rangers? You guys like fluffy muffins? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You guys like cookies? <laughs> yeah. You hey, guys, guys like? You guys like good, affordable, full coverage insurance at a low cross price? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero podcast, where I don't know what to do with my hands, you know. <laughs> and today, <laughs> so today we are joined again. By the new co-host Jim, that beautiful bearded man over there, and we are joined with the always fun to talk to TN Ranger, or as we call him Sam, aka what the hell is on your face? You know, <laughs> <laughs> say hey, <laughs> hey, so, grow man beard yeah. or shave it off. What's, what's yeah, that? Yeah. What is but, that? <laughs> so how's it? It's all I got. It been, <laughs> so how's it been well, going since the you. last time? Uh, since last time we talked to you, man. It's been going pretty good, man. I mean, uh, I really had a good time the last episode. That was a lot of fun. First podcast for me, uh, and uh, it went a lot better than I thought. Uh, and I sounded pretty good. <laughs> did you? Uh, did you finally invest into a merkin? A merkin? Not yet. A merkin is a <laughs> fake beard. Not yet. I'm gonna get me one, or I'll just eventually download an app that'll keep it there at all times, since everything's oh, social media based. Hey. <laughs> yeah like you'll never see a person anyway it doesn't really matter right <laughs> i'm not really fat I'm this thing the whole time you'll never know i don't have one. Oh yeah just do what jim does that's what he does <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, that's what what are you guys doing <laughs> yeah hide behind the pop filter yeah exactly <laughs> so What's uh? Oh, awkward silence. We're, we're done. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> done. <laughs> it's a rock no, guys. <laughs> so put it down. But no, uh, not a lot. I haven't actually posted a bunch of videos or anything. I've got a couple um, up there. I uh, went. I think my most recent one. Well, I just posted one for this actually. Right before we got on here, I posted a TikTok for this. Uh, so hopefully people will check that out. Uh, and bring it over here but i did one for my iron man and uh, the iron man doesn't pop as much as the power ranger stuff but uh, i still like it a lot but i did realize so i shot the video and this is how lazy i am with my videos uh it's i noticed how dusty my uh damn iron man oh. helmets were in the videos so instead of dusting them off and go back and shooting it i just comment oh need to dust off the old iron man helmets are you really willing to comment. admit to this on camera yeah <laughs> you said this was just audio but uh, yeah like you yes. said, like, like the, the things i see the most on there like that are popping off is usually like power ranger uh lore and star wars i don't see a lot of stuff about marvel or yeah. dc on there not a lot well they've you've got the few the couple of uh Iron Man suit makers, the 3D printer. There's a guy and a girl specifically that pop up on my For You page all the time, and I follow them too, uh, but they have full-blown Iron Man suits well, that function and everything. They, they are fly. incredible. Um, I, I don't think so, but functional. I would say that would be something they'd strive for at some point. Nice. <laughs> don't lie to us. But they're pretty good, but yeah, the Star Wars stuff is sick. I, I like the lightsaber oh, yeah. stuff um, with the transition. Because you know everybody's doing, like you were saying earlier, the ring light uh, yeah. trend is going, which I, I may pop me out a Green Ranger one or something like that. Uh, but uh, they're doing it with the lightsabers too, and that's super cool. Um, so that may be an excuse for me to get me a lightsaber. Don't do it. It's a financial trap. <laughs> it's like a bow. You just keep sinking money into so them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lightsaber, oh, yeah. it's like a boat. 
I always tell myself, okay, I've got everything I wanted. And then I go, ooh, what's <laughs> that? <my> life. <laughs> when did life. they come out with that? Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Like I was dead. I was done with the helmets because I'm not, I, I, I think I'd 3D print my own helmet. If I, I'd buy a 3D printer and try and print my own before buying like one that somebody else has made. But I wanted the, uh, the, the bandy one or whichever one it is was that uh, yeah. legacy or lightning uh helmets all those in the series and i pretty much have all the power ranger ones and i'm like yes and then all of a sudden bam the zed one comes out Damn. and i'm like man I, do i really need that one and i know as soon as they or at least i hope they're going to come out yeah. with the black and the blue and the yellow as well because i mean i'll be all over oh, yeah. those yeah they're supposed to sometime next year they're supposed to release the blue and and a black i think's next the blue is pretty much the coolest looking one for know, some man. reason, I think the uh, or at least to me. Yeah, How to get it one. is pretty sick, but there's something about that overall shape. Oh, I look, got he's got one. Black. I had the red, and green, <laughs> I had the red and green one of those. The little helmets, the helmet yeah. stands, the the bust. Sorry. Yeah, I I want those. See, I, I need to expand, but I don't have a lot of room. I've kind of split my office in the middle. One side has a giant bean bag and a bunch of girly shit, and it's my wife and daughter's <laughs> side to hang out in, and then the other half is my side. So I'm pretty much loaded up on my side. Uh, cause I have a big old wow. L-shaped I mean, desk really, and everything. And what, four what happened freaking to you TVs. is the fact that you got married, and then you, you ruined your life like that. <laughs> my, yeah. My job, right? my job was given... <laughs> But I'm pretty sure if I ended it, I wouldn't be able to fit all this yeah. stuff in my van. So <laughs> that uh, my my job was giving away like fifteen hundred dollar desk. They said, "Hey, we're moving. You can have one." I was like, "Oh, sweet! I'll pop it in my room." Oh, big mistake. It's too big in here. <laughs> right? Like uh, <laughs> I uh, I have my own office, which is nice. But we have three three rooms, and you know, it's only two of us here, which is great. It's a one bedroom, two offices, and I need get, I need to get more bookshelves. Oh yeah, I need a lot more bookshelves. <laughs> yeah, I picked that shelf up for that stuff because I mean I started with mm -hmm. one helmet, and it I, all my collection when used to be in my closet in this my office oh, was kind of a storage overflow for all the crap. So I had everything lined in the top of my closet, and I was like, "This is bullshit" because I'm the only one that sees this, and like I want to show it better than this. So I moved it out onto a shelf in the bedroom, and the wife was like, "Nope." Find somewhere else. So I was like, "All right, time to clean out the office." <laughs> uh, I was the same way. Actually, I had this thing in my uh, my bedroom, like it's a standing <coughs> dresser or something like that, with like the doors and everything on it. And I had the whole first like yeah. three waves in there of the lightning collection. And I was like, "Man, I really want to show these off. Like, no one's seeing them. Like, I don't know why I keep buying if no one's looking at them." And like, so like, I finally pulled <laughs> them out and I put them underneath our TV and stuff. And my partner was like, "We're okay with this for now." But the second our, our roommate moves out, you're going to take that office and you're going to fill it up. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> and now she is completely overtaken the back half, the, the back office, completely overtaken by books and manga or manga and all her stuff. And then the living room is all her stuff. The bedroom's all her stuff. And I have my office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's that, all that I book get. Shelf, that uh, bookshelf you've seen as thing. You're getting a future yeah. look at married life. I had to peer pressure him to buy that when I was over there. I was oh, like, yeah, get yeah, that I said, get the bookshelf. I'm getting one. You get one. <laughs> yeah, we use it with the target. You get two sacred places as a husband, and that's your office and the garage. So make sure to have you both. <laughs> I, I, have, I have both. I have, I have my yeah, office. Let's do this. And my garage is my other. Oh, honey, I need to go work on the car. I need to. And we have a home, like, well home gym in quotes uh out in the garage it's really just a punching bag and a weight oh, bench. I be and it's like anger. okay i'm when i get <laughs> yeah, pissed yeah. about something no <laughs> but uh and, and all my tools from when i used to work as a mechanic are out there so i just kind of go out there and make a bunch of noise <laughs> and wait, uh, wait, do you take the wrench bag. like the the ratchet and just spin it around <laughs> yeah, just spin it around in circles here's the, and here's the real question like, do you I, still have all your 10 millimeters <laughs> uh, most of them. I have a few sets that there's a vacant hole where the 10 millimeter belongs. <laughs> we had one disappear at the shop the other day. It literally uh, taken an air box off and it popped off the end of the extension and it never hit the ground. We took skid plate off, magneted all around everything. We're just like, all right, well, this is going to end up on the yeah, freeway. Like leprechauns. So, you, lose, like, you lose sight of it once and it's gone. <laughs> 
Well, we have like uh, black holes scattered throughout our shop that just eat random <laughs> things of ours, and they just disappear forever. And then all of a sudden, they randomly pop up like five years later. Right. So yeah, <laughs> that's like my job. I'll put down a box cutter, and then boom, it's gone. It's like what the hell? <laughs> right. Oh man. We have massive air gauges for checking tire pressures, and somehow they manage to lose them. They're atta- usually attached to the end of an air hose, and they still lose them. I don't know uh, how So happens. what happens here is if my partner makes brownies and she puts them down, and they're gone. Yeah. He, and I'm sitting right there, there with crumbs <laughs> my beard right there, and I'm like, she's like, did you eat the brownies? I'm like, no. What am I talking about? I didn't eat no brownies. I don't know what we're talking about. No. Oh, man. Uh, if we ever order DoorDash at work, um, the, I'll order DoorDash like breakfast or something like that because I can't leave. And my guys will try to catch the DoorDash person in the parking lot and steal oh. my food. <laughs> they will run out there and be like, yeah, I'm Sam. I'm Sam. And they'll grab my food. I can see them through my damn office window. So I end up having to run out and chase them down <laughs> or my damn biscuit. <laughs> they bring in yeah. your burrito with a bite taken out of it. It was like that when I got it. I can see right. Sam like running after him. I'll put you on the unemployment line. <laughs> <laughs> got it. I'll get my biscuit. Hit my car, car. You will be this time. <laughs> so like right. where I work at, it's a real confusing place. Like so, the building I'm in is just like long, long building, and we're all unit eight hundred, but we got to break it down by company. So like when we order DoorDash or something, they'll come by. And uh, like one time I was standing outside and I'm like, okay, I can see the DoorDash guy coming and he just keeps driving past me and leaves. It's like, are you, wow, didn't even give me my stuff. <laughs> it's like rap fast. <laughs> oh, well, I like, had man. that. Oh, wait, I didn't order anything. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. A couple yeah. of weeks ago, uh, I ordered uh, McDonald's through DoorDash and all of a sudden I get a uh, notification, your order has been delivered. And I'm like, no, it hasn't. Um, where what so yeah, that's what i'm looking yeah, I and like, uh <laughs> I, i'm like okay no it hasn't been delivered uh so i go back and i go on the app and i tell them it hasn't they refund me i order again it shows up well like two weeks later my uh office assistant uh messaged me and goes hey did you order mcdonald's and i was like or like two weeks ago i said yeah and she goes this was over in front of the op or the other building we have like an opposite building across the parking lot it's oh. completely overgrown and everything and they just set it outside the door and uh so i never <laughs> got that food oh that's oh. a shame that's a shame <laughs> right talking about mcdonald's and power toys <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, uh, did you okay? Have you ever looked up the uh, the old Mighty Morphin uh, movie, McDonald's toys? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen them. Uh, yeah, they're they're on eBay now. a lot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty much anything original Power Rangers, if it's in good shape, uh, I think holds a decent value. I mean, the yeah. only thing, the what is it? The uh, the mini crap. I can't remember what they're like Mega Minis or something like that. They used oh, to come yeah, in these little. Yeah look like a morpher and you could open it up and it was like a little play set or something oh, like we that know what those are. We, we had a whole set of those yeah, yeah we, i've we seen those, those yeah. i but, i i have still i have the uh the red dragon sword from that oh yeah like okay. i have it i it's in my it's in my office drawer it says i can't put it anywhere because this is it'll just fall and disappear some but, of the uh, stuff that they're coming a, out with for micro this micro machines is that's what they were micro, micro machines. machines yeah um, yeah I can't find them with the characters with them. I can find just the cases or like the pieces for the cases, uh, but they still want a ridiculous amount of money for them. Mm-hmm. And, and then there's a guy on TikTok. Uh, crap, what's his name? Uh, something or another. I want to say it's like Draken or something like that on TikTok. And he posts a lot. He does a lot where I think he's a lot like me. He doesn't show his face on TikTok. He wears the Green Ranger helmet a lot. But he's recently gotten uh, like these black edition Saba and Dragon Dagger. Oh, and yeah. They like Aww. numbered on the box and they show up in a special bandy bag and everything. And it's they're insane. Uh, I will probably yeah, never the, have those, but they are the price awesome for to those look at. Just make it almost like you're like, you, you stare at the price, you're like, nope. Mm, yeah, no yeah. Chance. I mean, nope. And I just wonder, I mean, the guy's either single or just has the coolest wife for a girlfriend on the planet. <laughs> there's a there's a guy I ran into. He kind of does like your shtick, like where he'll just wear a helmet all the time. Yeah. And he wears the Red Ranger helmet, but on the lens, on the tinted visor, 
he actually put these big googly eyes. So like whenever oh. he makes like sudden the eyes. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I just saw a post he or a TikTok he just did where he was like popped up as the googly eyed ranger uh, yeah. with the red on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's funny. Yeah. I've actually been talking to my wife about making another one where, because I I got, not a lot, but I noticed a few people commented on the one me and her did where we were the pink and green, and people were like, oh "Oh, no, Tommy won't like that. So now that when I get my green one done, I'm going to do kind of a response to that, I think, where green takes back pink, uh, because that's the way it should be. At least that's how it it was. So I think I'll come back with that. So I'm hoping that turns out. Show and comics. Yeah. And lore Ooh. and other stuff. Can I jump in on this <laughs> hand hand air quotes? Oh yeah, no. Oh, yeah. this is not a video. You can't see the oh, quotation oh, you marks. Can't see it. Oh, yeah. right, never mind. Uh, they're little marks. bunny rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> little bunny rabbits. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, no, um no actually I saw that TikTok of yours. Like I I hit your uh, hit your channel up here and there and just see what you did. Yeah. And I liked that one. That was cool. I, I I try not to post just the same thing over and over again, but I also notice that that seems to be what people like is the, the same things, but I don't have a lot to expand from. Uh, I, I think I am going to start stretching out a little bit more into some more collectible stuff. I try to keep everything in the original, you know, uh, Power Ranger seasons. Uh, the only mm-hmm. thing I have that's not is that Quasar Saber. It's like right there. Yeah, on the wall. Yeah. Right there. Um, but I, I want the Gold Ranger staff. Um, oh, I want, yeah. yeah. Do it. And it's not very expensive. That's why I like, like that. $80 that's a big, like that? Yeah, 89 bucks on Amazon is what it is. Oh, okay. um, and I'm like, man, I, but I wonder if that's going to be one of those investments that's it's $30 in a couple of years or if it's one of the oh. ones that's actually going to blow up too. Like my Green Ranger helmet. I feel like it was an actual investment because that the they're not going to make those anymore anytime soon. I don't think. Um, take think of like this: you want it, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you really yeah. want it? And like it's dude, it's eighty bucks, man. Whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like if you got the ca- you got the scratch for it, snag it, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's the hardest part about collecting too. Is uh, uh, you know. Hey, will this pay off later on? Well, you know, and it's always yeah. a hit or miss on these things too. And I mean, I like. Well, I've gotten a couple that I wasn't that satisfied with, mostly like old stuff, like the '90s stuff that was somebody still yeah. had. Like my Saba doesn't work, uh, you know, and neither does my blaster. Like none of the electronics work on them, which they're mostly just wall pieces. But um, yeah. the newer stuff with the, all the functioning—that's what I want. It's just the pricing is through the roof for it. So, yeah. like the eighty dollars stuff works out for me. Yeah, that's why every time they do release a new helmet. I'm going to try and jump on it as soon as it comes out because they're always about 100 to like 150 bucks. But then right. what, like six months later, everybody wants $500 for them? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I got my Red oh, Ranger yeah. helmet for $89 and now I don't think you can find them anywhere for less than like 180 or 200 Yeah, yeah well, actually a, a game shop near me that still has a couple of them floating around. Yeah. yeah, they're usually like $50 now. Oh, nice. Okay. Well. Yeah. I guess you I'm mostly stuck to eBay and Amazon, so. Oh, <laughs> eBay is uh is uh, known for their uh, scalpers. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. They got guys on there with them. The Green Ranger helmet for like fifteen hundred to two thousand. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The only reason I bring up eBay is for uh for part like computer parts, like like specialized computer parts. Oh yeah, they're dirt cheap, like server grade equipment. Oh my god, I can find server grade equipment for almost nothing. Nice. eBay, it's great because they had to liquidate all their crap, and so I, I pick up you know raid raid cards that are no like five hundred dollars for like twenty bucks. It's great. Jeez, yeah, that does yeah, like super nerdy things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like four <laughs> yeah. people are gonna listen to this. Four will be like, oh yeah, that's yeah, I do that too. Four. <laughs> what he talks, what he talks about is above my pay grade. I cannot do that. <laughs> like, huh? And when you guys start talking about cars, I'm like. Engine goes boom, boom. That's as far as I got. <laughs> yeah, I know. You want to talk about some tires or some uh, or something like that? I, that's what I deal with on a daily basis. Yeah. So. <laughs> fun, fun fact: I've... those little those little rubber feelers on the uh, new, brand new tires, those are from the mold stems. Yes. Yeah. So when they drop the tire out of the mold, those things are still there. Fun fact: you know that uh, Converse are sold with the fuzzy bottom piece. You know that, right? The, the bottom of the Converse are fuzzy, so they're considered sandals. 
And so they don't have an import tax in the United States. <laughs> Fun fact. Right. Fast fact. <laughs> Fun fact. A lot of these uh, insulated stuff from like, you know, Yeti or Arctic or whatever that's produced in China actually sits on a train for about three years before the factory, uh, the wholesalers get them here. I feel left oh, out. Man. I don't have any fun facts right now. I can't think oh, of anything. Come on, fun. Sam, come on, just, damn. Man, you <laughs> yeah. killing us over here. Y'all's are just so damn interesting that I, I'm like, I'm stumped. I'm like, shit, how do I top the insulation in the Yeti yeah. cooler? Right Bird, now? Like, okay, <laughs> fun fact birds and the bees are actually just birds and bees. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I could be like the guy on TikTok that just makes crap up as his fun facts. <laughs> hey, fun, <laughs> fun fact. fact yeah, fun Earth fact, is upside if you, down. If you, if you pet a dog on its head, you're guaranteed to say "goodest boy ever." That's true. It's hard not to say. It. It's like strapping something down in the back of a truck. You know, you can't yes. not say it. This ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so, so true. Yeah. Fun fact. Uh, fun fact. Three. Uh, three. Uh, three rights make a left. Two rights make an airplane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually wrote a, ra- a, a rap about the Wright brothers in uh, like the fifth grade. It, it was a big hit in my school. <laughs> Damn. Wow. I think I've got it on a cassette learned, tape somewhere. So. We learn new things every day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> was was that homeschooled or what? <laughs> <laughs> did, did your mommy tell you you were a good boy after that? <laughs> my mom said it was very special, okay? She told me that every day. Wait, special or in a special class? Both. Okay. <laughs> all right. Did they take you out of the regular class at some point? Like, yeah. you need to come with us, Sam. We need my te- teach my teachers hated me so much because they knew I was such a witty kid. I grew up in a, with an Irish-Italian family, so it was like constant oh. zingers back and forth for my family. So I'd go to school, and my teachers would just hate me because they'd be like, you need to do your homework. And I'd be like, well, you need to go sit down somewhere. Or you oh, need to leave geez. me alone. And it was just smart ass like left and right so my Wait, my teachers talk, constantly wanted to hit, hit me do you take on your italian background to talk with your hands a lot oh i talk with my hands a ton i'm trying right now to stay still because i'm pretty sure the video <laughs> feed will slow down my audio <laughs> if i move too much so because of my crappy internet connection um but yes i'm horrible about it what's funny is at work uh you know we do a lot of phone sales and i will be on the phone and my uh, office assistant just stares at me because i will be talking with my hands while i'm on the phone with somebody and it <laughs> she just got i'll hang up and she'll be like why the hell do you do all the hand gestures they can't see you <laughs> and you're right i know yeah yeah it's embarrassing i know leave me alone yeah. like do you want to know what i do with my sleep i I snore my hands. <laughs> <laughs> at, at work, when I get angry, I have to pet the invisible cat. Pet the cat. Pet the cat. <laughs> you know. Oh man. Okay. So we have a we have a really fat orange cat here, and he hates me with a passion. He hates me. I've seen it. And, I've seen uh, it. It tried to cats kill. Cats are once. evil. Oh right. yeah. Oh, uh, so my cat died recently. So my my cat died recently. Uh, oh, R.I.P. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, so he the orange cat's been a little bit more friendlier just because he has no competition. So he's like, Oh, I <laughs> oh, have no yeah. competition. Uh huh. I'm a badass, badass cat. I'm like, uh huh. And so what I'll do is I'll scoop him up and I'll walk around with him. Like I'll hold him and walk around. And he just freaks him out. He's like, ah, why? And then uh <laughs> Does he eventually No, no, no. He tries nope. to attack me, but it, he's so fat he can't get his paws up to scratch me. So I'll hold him like this. I'll hold him like that. <laughs> and so he can't actually do anything to me. <laughs> I am not and a then, cat person. I can't do this claws. Scary. Can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gives up. <laughs> you said, have you up watched furry. cat videos? I mean, those things will come out. They're like, the, especially the ones where they like add lightsabers to their hands, where they're battling <laughs> other cats. I swear. Look yeah. that up. Cat lightsaber <laughs> battle. I got Best more damage from ever. like doing like changing oil than ever from my cat, dude. You're fine. Man, my mom has a cat, and this cat is awesome. It she named it Twiggy after like one of the first supermodels ever, um, and it's this old ass cat. I mean, we, my dad got my mom this cat when they were still married when I was a kid, and I'm and I'm in my 30s now, so it's like this cat is old. 
and it will come up to you and act so sweet. And if you don't pet this thing, it will just smack the shit out of you out of nowhere. And it, I mean, like claw your like face you, and everything. I'm just like, man, fuck. I feel like you had bad cat experiences. Yes, yeah, that's what cats. it is. <laughs> my uh, my cat will kick a cat's ass. Okay, that's all I have to say. My uh, my cat was a sweetheart. He would just love on you. Just he would never attack anyone. Oh, yeah. He just he was old and lazy. He's like, I'm old. I'm lazy. Pet me. Yeah, well, I, I'm kind of allergic to him too, though. So like dark uh, cats, no. But white cats, man, I puff up like a freaking marshmallow. Uh, my mother in law has them. So we when we go over there for like we were just there for Thanksgiving. And after about two hours of being there, that's when the eyes started puffing up, kept constantly, <coughs> can't breathe. So <laughs> that's an, I, maybe that's another reason I don't like cats that much, but. Oh, you uh, would have hated my cat. He's a Siamese cat. So he's white, he was white and black, like most of oh, yeah. white and brown. And he was a big old sweet. He just loved everyone. Big old but greasy cat. I act that way with white dogs too, though. So it's like I get the white fur, it, I think it, is what it, it might, is. It might be a pigment thing. Yeah, it could be, it could be allergic to pigment. Because I've got a black that, uh, and a brown dog, and neither one of them bother me, and they get hair all over everything. Well, white white fur is different than black fur, like completely yeah. different. Uh, and uh, like some uh, some animals are albino and stuff, and so like the the fur is white, but it's actually see through. Yeah. And so there, there's no pigment yeah. in it, so it could it could just be allergic to something. Um, mm. Come back next week if you want to talk to MD Jim. <laughs> I'll just, anybody here and, for Power Ranger shit is like what the. F- is this? <laughs> so like, what the hell are you guys talking about? Yeah. I'm learning. And I'm going to put this up cat as cat like cat. TN, the second take. Yeah. <laughs> TN on his deathbed. <laughs> TN, you might want to listen to the first one only. No. <laughs> oh, hey, we could, actually, we could make this our YouTube one. We could make this our debut YouTube one. Debut, make this the blooper reel. There you go. It's the blooper reel. Like, hey, no. blooper reel. YouTube. No, shooting the shit <laughs> with TN Ranger. There you go. <laughs> yeah. We can learn about why. his allergies. <laughs> like it's wondering, like, oh, figure it's... it out. Oh, searching up WebMD and finding out you're going to die. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, w- find out cats. why he's allergic to white hair. Tonight at 10. <laughs> no, tell me now. <laughs> that should be the title to the, the is TN's Kryptonite <laughs> White Animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, ask you again. Do you know where your kids are? And for the fifth time, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but I did get duetted by uh, one of the other guys on TikTok the other day. We'll get back on the Power Ranger stuff, but he's a big TikTok, right? His name's like God something. I can't remember what it is. I believe Mark talked about it in your podcast with the Red Corner. God thing, damn but... it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time damn I see it, I'm like, damn it. Uh, but he do edit man i've got a couple other videos up there but i haven't done a lot with it uh i, I guess i'm trying to wait on some uh, good ideas everybody's trending the light thing right now so i guess maybe i'll wait till that fizzles out uh, yeah. how do you know like is there a notification that pops up for you that's yeah it'll case. tell you Such it's like in the i get a bunch mostly it's just likes i see a bunch of like 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 uh but then you'll get like so and so duetted you and it doesn't show their duet on your page like but it shows it on theirs uh, uh, so like you know on facebook if somebody shares something and tags you in it it'll show up on their page and your page well it doesn't seem to do that with tiktok uh i so noticed that i've been getting a, a lot of follows from like these like I guess like gorgeous girls, but like when you look at them, it's just um, yeah, uh, yeah. Once you I, once you accept them, they'll send you messages like scam messages. Oh, I get all kinds of weird shit like that, and I see a lot of weird people on there. But uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the ones I pretty much ignore. Like they follow, so and I'm sure that a twenty at least twenty five percent of my followers are probably a bunch of those bots or fake yeah. accounts, and it's because Russian you'll bots get trying to get your crypto. Yeah, well, most of them are probably middle-aged men that just don't want to po- make an actual profile or some crap or some young young kid or something on there that's just trying to skim around. And you'll notice like a lot of the posts um, that are negative and the people just being outright ruthless on there, they're some weird account that doesn't tie to anybody, uh, yeah. you know, because most of those people are too big a- to say anything to anybody and where it's actually linked to them. So, oh, wait, that's explicit. 
heads up, guys. We've already dropped a couple <laughs> F-bombs. Oh, um, yeah, my hey, bad. <laughs> no, nah, dude, um, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, Irish Italian, remember. <laughs> uh, we actually talked about this with Mark, actually. We, we, we chatted about this with Mark and how he handles the, the, the bots and the... Uh, uh, like the keyboard the, warriors and stuff. The yeah. keyboard warriors and stuff and the, the jerks. I think he does a pretty these. good job with them. I've seen a couple of response videos that he's made to him. You can tell that it bugs him, uh, just like me. And it's it's not so much that it's like you're hurting his feelings or hurting my feelings or anybody's that you're doing. It's just it's almost just like you're dumbfounded. You're like, why, why bother yeah. taking the time out of your day to just be mean to somebody? Because most of them aren't valid. You know, it's literally like somebody sitting there going, "Okay, what's the meanest thing I could say to this person?" and then saying yeah. it. And I and I I catch myself like skimming through people's uh, posts, and then I'll see somebody post something like that, and it it's like I want to hunt them down and find them, and you know, it, it was my power yeah. sword. Uh, and th- there's <laughs> guys on do. there. <laughs> there's guys on there that do that. Um, the there's one guy named Tizzy or something like that, and he'll hunt down these people that are in videos and that are being just cruel to people, and he like turns them over to the authorities and things like that so there's people using that platform for good i guess but it's also the platform where the bad is happening so yeah unfortunately yeah give and take you win some you lose some but no i haven't had any net or any negative uh stuff on mine yet but i don't have that many followers still so and i don't think i post frequent enough um there's a guy that i follow tim um and he's clearly like special guy you know he's he's uh different than most people and he posts like 30 videos a day but they're in and to some people i could that like to make fun of people i could see where he'd be the perfect candidate and pretty much all of his comments are people making fun of him but then you have the three or four where people are like you're a really good guy you know or say something nice to him and you can just tell he's genuine so it's it's neat to see guys like him that it's like clearly people are being mean to and clearly most of your followers are people that are wanting to be mean, but it's like you held on to those also true people and you just ignore the haters and you have to do that. And he, those kind of people are like probably the toughest ones on that app. I mean, the yeah. abuse that they take and they still just keep doing it. It's yeah. awesome. Oh yeah. And that's what I'm afraid to. Cause I'm the type of, I'm like, I want to have a smarty, smart ass mo- <clears throat> remark and everything. But I know like once I do that, Boom, they'll report me and I'm gone, you know. Oh yeah. Well then some people get obsessed with it. They'll just run with it forever, you know. They'll if one person yeah. says something mean, that's all they'll focus on. And it, Oh man, yeah. You just gotta move on from it and keep going. I, I would just ignore it, I guess. I guess maybe that's part of the reason I haven't even gone live yet, is because the lives I feel like get a lot more exposure. So you get all kind of random people up in those, is from yeah. what I understand. And that's where the haters really come from. So uh, when I do go live, I plan on just trying to blow through those and ignore them and, and remind yeah. myself that it's just some no, sad if, dude if you, sitting behind if you a need keyboard. To, we'll, Dora, if you need to, we'll be your emotional support, you know, friends yeah, yeah. Uh, with a with the, uh, light two emphasis S's. on the friends. Yeah. <laughs> I see how much moral support or emotional support we give each other in the group chat. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those get those get pretty violent quick. Yeah, yeah. there's a like violent threats on a daily basis between the three of us. So. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe you take estrogen. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's the estrogen, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> I was say we don't even need to script these things. Let's just bust out Messenger and start from the top and start reading. Yeah. And you said. <laughs> yeah. On Saturday, the seventeenth. <laughs> That's how it is. Dog. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. I do like, plan on putting a little bit more effort into some videos here soon and seeing if I can get something blowing up. I, I kind of want to do something skit related, more popular, and I want to get my daughter involved with it because she's really fun and she can dance and stuff. Uh, I think I talked about it a little bit in the last one, but I, I'm going to get her yeah, involved. So actually was focused on actual stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so actually, so yeah. Shooting yeah. the shit. It's volume two. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you pretty much got the basis of my Power Ranger knowledge and stuff in the first one. Uh, so, like, there, uh, I, we can go through and individually talk about each one if you want. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I think I think well, about, I about by uh, the third episode with you, we'll break down uh, your childhood dramas and stuff. Trauma, right? <laughs> right. And uh, then we're, we'll we're save like fourteen and fifteen and episode for drama. politics and stuff like that. How about that? We'll let the people really <laughs> yeah, we'll, get warmed we'll, up to us before we piss them off. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll we'll, we'll put that behind <laughs> a Patreon or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Buy this like, episode if you really want to know us. Yeah, it's a we premium totally... episode. And then, like, at some point, we could just bust into, like, a whole Alex Jones kind of thing where, like, we'll start screaming and then all of a sudden just get real calm and be, like, trying to sell something. <laughs> like, ah, buy my vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> buy my male, uh, male potency vitamins. Yeah, yeah. My, my will, water filter. <laughs> my, my man charcoal water filter. What? That's what was one of the things was a man charcoal yeah. water filter. Yeah, I don't keep up with his stuff. I swear, I don't. I yeah. just I like to watch it from a distance because it's yeah. so, so bananas. But like I always say, um, there's if it wasn't on Info Wars, it wasn't true. <laughs> <laughs> Ask another question, Billy. Ask another oh, question. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, was your does your underwear have your name in it and they're just kind of stretched out to where they just say like mine just say Billy? <laughs> <laughs> mine says Ains. <laughs> mine just looks like a bunch of scribbles fruit. now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> does, 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 or does it say fruit of the loop? Yeah. <laughs> you stretch up at one spot. <laughs> Always. I always tell my boss I'm gonna go quit my job to be an underwear stress tester. <laughs> <laughs> Push him to the max. Uh, yeah. Screw <laughs> this non fifth. Yeah. This 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 pair can withstand 422 uh, variations of the squat. <laughs> this pair can survive me and Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other one couldn't. Oh man. This episode I is off the rails. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's yeah. gone. I'm completely like I'm thinking of just making this like the debut episode for YouTube. Like this is what we do on YouTube now. Yeah, hell this yeah. Is it. No. We've been, <laughs> we've been. I wouldn't have scratched my nose so many times. Damn. <laughs> so what I'm thinking of doing is making like a b like our b roll for YouTube, like all the b roll stuff for, to YouTube, and then like the regular episode on podcast. But like you know how we do our normal thing, like we line up to the podcast. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then we close out at the end of it, you know, with some extra stuff. And I'll make it just make the whole audio clip a YouTube channel, like a YouTube video, because I can put like the logo and stuff, like oh, other yeah, stuff yeah. with it. Yeah, I think I'll do it like that. That'd be kind of fun. That would be kind cool. of easy. And plus, YouTube pays out pretty well for their. Yeah, views. if you get a couple hundred thousand views a day, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just we can yeah. all do it naked or something, and that'll bring in their views. Well, no, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. only people who watch us are Germans. Calm down. Yeah. Yeah. We need some Italians. I'm checking my post for this. See how many of these it's got now. Oh, we're up to 100. Jesus. We've just been shooting the shit for like an hour. Really? Right. Yeah, it'll yeah. usually shoot up pretty quick. It, it, it'll get to like four or 500 and then mellow out for a little while. That seems mm-hmm. to be... I, everyone seems to at least hit about four to 500 now. So that's pretty cool. I have a steady that. Because before, that was a lot to me. I was like, holy shit. When it hit 50, I was like, wow, that many people, huh? Yeah, yeah. I do like how like your first big fight uh, Zeta Hero one is like 1,400. <laughs> Like yeah, fourteen hundred people saw it, and oh, yeah. only a handful of people saw yeah. actually listened to it. So, episode. so when you when you actually post it, and you hashtag the the Zio to Hero. I can actually go in and look at how many people have liked those videos, and it's like yeah, uh, it's like almost like seven thousand likes for those videos, all of them. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's funny how much you pay attention to those numbers and whenever you start getting into it, especially TikTok's real bad about it because they show you everything. They show you how many views, how many likes, how many comments, everything like that. And then they have the whole analytics section in there that you can go in and it basically breaks down like how many male followers you have, how many female followers you have, you know, how, yeah. how what's the what's the average duration of watch time, which I'm actually proud of mine. I mean, I have like a 75% uh duration time on most of my videos so that's pretty cool like actually 
people will stick around to watch them because i believe oh, it nice. counts a lot of views as just like watching the first few seconds of it and it gives you a view i don't so <laughs> i don't stick around and watch your stuff yeah. like i'm like i look at like oh cool and that's yeah that's a that's how yeah. anchor does it so i'll check anchor like a couple times a day and you and it actually showed me for this year so when my first part my first podcast to now you can see it gradually goes up and then up and then right right as your first episode aired it just kind of skyrocketed after that. And I'm like, I didn't think it was going to happen like that, especially like this year. I thought maybe like maybe, you know, third quarter next year and probably be taken off. Yeah. No, I was happy to hear that the numbers were growing on it. That's pretty cool. Which I mean, I knew of a lot of people that I knew personally that I sent it to that went and listened to it and all really liked it. Uh, <laughs> my mom was a very, <laughs> was very supportive. Yeah. They're not gonna like this episode. No, no probably not at <laughs> well, maybe, all. Maybe your mom might like it. That's about it. I might keep this one strictly to TikTok and keep the family away from this one. <laughs> They'll find out about it. No, like, oh, hey, about me, my family knows I, 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 I'm an open book, so <laughs> they don't give a crap. <laughs> oh wait, what are you doing in the bathroom? None of your business. <laughs> yeah, none of it. Don't answer that. No, no worry about it. You don't just don't really want to know. That's the main thing. I'll tell you, but you won't. You just don't want to know. <laughs> like, yeah. what did you? What were you doing? Taking cold showers? Why are you taking cold showers? No, no, your business. No, your business. No, your business. <laughs> no. Nope. I'll tell most young men you don't appreciate the way you can use the bathroom as a young man until you get over thirty. Then it becomes hell. So, <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Yeah. So, come on, come on, Let's go! I only got, like, I got to fix the two today. <laughs> a lot of the young guys that work for me, they're like, "Man, you go to the bathroom like four times. Like, F- you turn thirty, so leave me alone." <laughs> I mean, damn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like, you know, I go to the restroom at my job. I'm like, I got a solid seven minutes before they start questioning where I'm at. <laughs> right. So again, the teams pings. They're like, "No, yeah, I'm not coming out. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is my time, not Especially yours. right now, since we're so busy, it's crazy. We've been yeah. pretty busy ourselves. A lot of people are getting ready for winter around here, so they all go ape shit when they first gets down to like 30, 40 degrees. And, oh, no, the snow's going to come, and they're going to buy tires and all that. Do you, so. y'all sell like winter tires? Oh, yeah. I mean, not really. This area, Oak Ridge, or I live in Oak Ridge, which is right outside of Knoxville, and it's in a, uh, it's surrounded by ridges, so uh, everything kind of gets blown around us, but usually about once or twice a year, we get a decent amount of snow, but decent for me is like minuscule, you know, like an inch or two, but people around here, they act like they can't drive anymore when it happens. Uh, so oh I sell a lot of all terrains. I mean, we got a lot of country boys around here, so it's all truck tires mm-hmm. and all terrains and stuff like that. Yeah. So we live in Texas, and the second it says in Texas, no one knows how to drive anymore. At oh all. yeah. It can oh, be, and it, it can even be. if it was like just a layer of snow, it's just nope, gone. <laughs> Especially in rain. Oh my God! When it starts sprinkling, everybody turns their hazards on and rides their hazards everywhere. You can always tell somebody uh, when somebody's from somewhere like flat, like uh, Florida. A lot of people from Florida end up in Tennessee for some reason. They get up in our mountain roads, and if it's even slightly wet, I mean, they will be driving so slow. It is insane. Oh. It's yeah, like, just go. Kind of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I grew up around the country, and uh, West Virginia had those uh, mountain passes in West Virginia. Yeah. And the rain, oh, my God, like. So, like, y'all's mountain passes aren't that bad. Like, they're kind of scary. But, man, there's, like, these ones in West Virginia that are, like, 500-foot drops. Oh, yeah. I mean, we go up into West Virginia a lot in uh, North Carolina and a lot of areas up in there. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. Oh, my God. It's so pretty. Y'all remember that night? Remember that night I sent y'all the video of that fire truck that was in front of me? Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I found out when I pulled I pulled next to it because the fire truck actually stopped at this bridge. So someone hydroplaned and hit the guardrail and then they flipped the car into the river below. Oh gosh. So Oh my goodness. Yeah, but All it was right, a yeah. you can see it was a really hydroplane. There was like shattered wood. The wood posts were shattered all over the road. Jeez. Yeah. Slow down. You don't have to stop. Just yeah. slow down. Well, that area that happened, it's the, the toll road where Onion. the toll road meets. Oh, so, like okay, people are right coming there, off the yeah. toll road 80 miles an hour and they hit that. Oh, yeah, road. y'all on your down. toll roads. Yeah, yeah, it dips down in that little area. So it just floods out like crazy yeah, because the, floods the, that area. the drainage is not set up properly at all. Yeah. Not. 
We have some places around us like that where if it rains, it floods the whole roads out, and you can't oh, even yeah, get yeah. through it. That's how so. Austin is. Austin's like that is, too. Is that the one in front of your house? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And Austin's like that. Ever like all of the places in Austin, like no, no, none of the drainage is set up properly. Yeah. Nothing is done at all right in Austin. Yeah, if you get and three so, inches of rain overnight, just be prepared for r- flooded roads in Austin. Yeah. yeah. That's why everybody Man, drives shoot. trucks. Yeah, <laughs> not here. It's all oh, hybrids you, now. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it's all hybrids. The it's Californians a, moved it's in. It's a lot of Teslas out here. I ain't gonna lie, oh. I wouldn't mind a Tesla. I think they're kind of no. cool, but don't get Tesla. Their quality control is shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean it's it's, it's because they put everything into the batteries and the electric yeah. engine and all that stuff. You know, check out the the I I, I would love to get that Ford, that new Ford F one fifty, the the electric one. Ooh, that one looks fun. Oh, the Ford F one hundred. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, no, no, no. The F one fifty, F one fifty, the Ford F one fifty electric. Oh, the new one? Uh, or I thought you were yeah. talking about the, old, the vintage one that they're, they're remaking. No, no. That was going to be way too expensive, but the, the electric truck looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't oh, know yeah, if I can get in an electric truck. I don't know if I, I can. Do, I, I mean, I could probably drive one, test it out, and see, but I don't know if I could ever get one. You I think you the torque, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's I, true. A, but, I mean, you're only electric limited, vehicle. though. You're limited to what the pattern, the battery can hold. Yeah, well, True. to be fair, electric vehicles are a great in-town car. They're great oh, yeah. in-town vehicles. Yeah. They use no, nothing to get around town. When you're, like, burning through fuel in downtown areas, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Electric oh, yeah. cars, oh, they they excel in downtown areas. They're great because they don't use up any extra power to accelerate. Nothing. It's, they're oh, fine. Yeah. They're great. But, uh, yeah, in a gas car, no, you start start uh, start and stop traffic is a nightmare. Yeah, especially oh, yeah. when, when you got a, a heavy-ass clutch like mine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, my cankle starts hurting. I'm like, ma, oh, When your club foot gets all weird. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, you want to wrap this episode up real quick, and then we can just keep talking. We can talk for a little while longer. All right. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for coming, guys, and listening to his CEO to here. I'll do it for you, Billy. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Knock that one out. Yeah. Not, but... <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like like he said, thanks for coming in, checking us out, listening to uh, the TN Ranger or Sam uh, take two, as we totally did not go over what <laughs> we wanted to. <laughs> yeah, this, this, uh, this episode went away hey, to left field here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So right thanks, out. Like, thanks again, Sam, for joining us today. You have anything right, anytime, else to say? Anytime, anytime. I mean, I just appreciate you having me on here. This episode was fun, <laughs> so I hope uh, <laughs> people enjoy listening to it. Get a little bit more into us, I guess. Uh, but no, I appreciate it. Uh, shout out to uh, you guys, uh, Zio to Hero, and uh, I, last time I dropped the ball, apparently. So shout out to my tire shop in town, C and D Tire to Boat Cruise, best tire <laughs> shop in Tennessee. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on. I look forward to TN Ranger take three. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did your tire shop actually like your boss? Is like, I joined a podcast. Why do you shut us out? No, no, I got called out by uh, my mom. Actually, she said you had a chance to tell your sell your business a little bit. You didn't even do it, and I was like, well, damn. <laughs> All right, I might as well do it this time. I didn't mean to drop the ball. I got more criticism from my mom on that one than anything, but. <laughs> Even more from us, we were like, "You're a crap." <laughs> <laughs> well, she gave she gave me the uh, she she told me the most weird part about it. She said, "You know, I went into it li- thinking I was going to listen to it and be embarrassed for you, and you you were pretty good." And I was like, "Oh, thanks, oh. mommy. I'm glad you were like rooting for me in the get go." <laughs> well, see, you were the shining example of not, you know, we were the embarrassing ones. You were fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was the embarrassing ones. But, <laughs> uh, but, we just over embarrassed everything else about us to make you look good. There you go. I yeah, appreciate it. Well, right. as our so anyone comes up to the show, we're gonna be the embarrassing one. We'll make you look good. We got you. Anyone okay. who wants to come on the show, you guys are great you. hosts. Yes. Yeah. If you want to feel good about yourself, come hang out with Jim and Billy for a little while. Don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't take. Uh, we we don't take. Uh, dang it, we don't take compliments well. No, but I do. Like, take you come us? No. But yeah. I'll, I mean, you send me some EBT cash, and so I'll shake my ass for you, son. <laughs> <laughs> but, ETB uh, cash ready with not in Texas is food But, yes, yeah, <laughs> thanks for sticking around for our prolonged exit. Jim, you've been a 
uh, beautiful bearded man over there. Just <laughs> don't lie to me, sir. Sir. All right. Don't lie to me. But should I do it now? It's a should I see if it works? Because it didn't work earlier today. Should it work today? Ninja or flip head. Oh, it worked! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay, yeah. something probably worked for you. <laughs> Yay! Wait, wait, wait. Yay! Yay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, turn your uh, turn your thing off. Wait, are you are you dinging over there? Who's ding? I'm not doing anything. Who's dinging? I'm not. Egg is messaging everyone. Oh, that's why. Ugh. Uh, there he goes again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, no, not you. Our uh, one of our friends that live out here. He's like binging us on message, and he's gonna keep doing it too until we answer. <laughs> Yeah, it's you know what? I'm gonna mute him right now. Do it. <laughs> Can I just mute the whole chat for everyone? Uh let's see. Am I not your only group chat? I thought I was Unfortunately special. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately uh, not. I'm sorry, but no. All we've gonna... been through together are one episode. Yeah, right. Our one this episode. Is our... end... <laughs> this is how you wanna end it? <laughs> this is this how you wanna end it? Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's end it like this. No, um, awkward silence. Let's just scoot away. <laughs> <laughs>